Hi guys and welcome back to yet another Hogwarts mystery episode. We're gonna do another time limited side quest and it's called a sad day at Hogwarts and we are in the courtyard right now. We're gonna meet Penny. Something strange is going on. Everyone seems quite upset. Andrea, who is that? People are going to blame Slytherin for this, but it wasn't us. I've got to I have got to go check on my cats. Why? There you are, Timberly. I need an urgent, urgent word. What's wrong, Penny? I will tell you, but let's keep our voices down. I don't want to cause any more panic than we're already facing. It's a terrible situation that could affect almost everyone in Hogwarts. Blimey, Hogwarts pets are going missing. Perhaps I better check on my dorm after this to make sure my pets are alright. Yes, it's an alarming development and as you can imagine, everyone's quite worried. You have a reputation for solving mysteries quickly, so we are all hoping you will help us get to the bottom of this. I will help if I can, but I'm not sure where to start. Are there any theories as to what's going on? So far, everyone is stumped. Each pet was there one second and gone the next. There doesn't seem to be any pattern to the disappearances. At least not one we have noticed yet. I never start by getting everyone's stories myself. If I play, if I pay close attention to the details, I can compare them and see if anything jumps out. <laughs> Good idea, Timberly. But remember, everyone's quite upset. Before you meet them, you might want to figure out your approach. When you talk to the students about the missing pets, will you be matter of fact, upbeat, or sympathetic? Right now, I think it's important to be sympathetic as possible they're going through a lot i'm sure i'm sure they really appreciate the sympathy of Timberly. it never hurts to meet people on their level now if we had better hurry up and get everyone together we don't know exactly what's going on so every second matters the culprits could still be nearby <laughs> brilliant i will let everyone know that you are on the case and ready to get started Meet us in the Great Hall, you can hear all the stories, then start your search for the missing Hogwarts pets. Okay, now we are outside Great Hall, and uh, yeah, I have bought uh, a little owl for me, uh, with the, the black skin, because I like it very much. I love owls. So I also have a pet, but uh, I'm lucky enough that it's not missing. If Nars playing hard and seek, he's improved considerably since the last ma match. If you find out who did this, I will be forever in your debt. Oh, I hope I told Dennis it's alright. Hello everyone, thanks for agreeing to meet me here. I was sorry to hear your pets have gone missing and understand that you're all quite upset. Want you I want you to know I'm some pathetic to your plight. It is a truly dark day at Hogwarts. Thanks for being so kind. I knew you would understand you start upsetting this all is. You got to help us, Timberly. I've only just started getting to know my owl, Igor. I, sir, I assure you I will do everything I can to find your pets. I'd like to start by hearing exactly what happened when each of your pets went missing. I will listen closely to the details of each story and do my best to look for a pattern. Blimey, after hearing all of your stories, I'm starting to notice a pattern. It could be our first clue. <laughs> Let's hear it, Emily. Several of you mentioned being near Hagrid's garden when your pets went missing. Others said their pets disappeared near the forest or by the lake. Based on what you were told me, it seems every pet went missing while outside the castle walls. Merlin's beer, that would explain why only some of the pets have vanished, while others haven't. Exactly, my pets are still safe in my dorm room. That's quite a discovery, Timbley. I knew you would write which for the up. <laughs> With you on the case, I feel quite confident everything is going to be alright. What about you? How do you feel after your first big breakthrough? Um, I feel worried. Those poor pets are out there somewhere and who knows what's happening to them. You're right, we better work quickly. There's no time to waste. Since Hagrid's garden came up in several of the stories, that seems like a good place to look first. I will head there now and talk to Hagrid. Perhaps he had or saw something that can help us figure out what happened to the pets. Oh, have we been here before? The Hagrid's garden? Oh, Marula. Okay. Marula, what are you doing here? Is she playing with Fang? 
He's so cute. I could ask you the same thing. I'm looking for Hagrid, of course. Hogwarts pets are going missing and a few of them vanished near here. I was hoping Hagrid might have seen something that could help me understand what's going on. Hagrid had to hurry off to investigate something in Hogsmeade, so I guess he can't do all the work for you. Feels like it's a good thing he asked me to keep an eye on Fang while he's gone. Keep an eye on who? Yee, there I thought you and Hagrid were friends. You never met his adorable dog. Perhaps you're not as close as I thought you were. Hagrid and I are quite close, Marula. So close, in fact, I can't help wondering if your story makes any sense. Hagrid really asked you to keep an eye on his dog. What are you saying? You don't believe me? Oh, I do, come on. I believe you. It's good of you to help out. Perhaps you've seen something that could help me. Have you noticed anything strange around here? I haven't seen any pet nappers or even any pets, if that's what you mean. Just fang. I'm sure you won't mind if I take a look around for any clues while you watch Fang. I don't mind, but Fang and I should probably help, given how likely you are to miss something. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Oh, is that... It looks like seeds. Nothing looks out of the ordinary except for a small, a dismal line of bird seed. You might be right for once, I am Chloe. I didn't see anything strange either. I doubt a manky line of bird seed has anything to do with the missing pets, but what do you think? I think so. It's clearly connected, though I'm not sure how. I better keep my eyes and ears open for anything bird seed related. It's fun as that sound. Perhaps you should go somewhere else while you open your ears. I've got to get back to my duties only. I suppose I should head back to the castle to regroup. This is a baffling case and I need to think it through before I will know what to do next. Good, but if you headed to the castle, keep an eye out for Filch. He came by earlier and he was in quite a foul mood, but a bit of a mystery there if you ask me. Okay, isn't he always in a bad mood? Maybe a, something with Mrs. Norris has happened, like she is abducted too. I don't know. I haven't been in here before. Is this Filch office? Jesus. Ugh. Hello, Mr. Village. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. I came as fast as I could once I got your message. I was just in Hagrid's garden looking for clues about where the missing Hogwarts pest might have gone. So far, however, I found very little to go on. <sighs> Enough tattle. Tell me where she is. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not sure who you mean, Mr. Village. Oh, then I will refresh your memory. Perhaps if you come clean now, you can keep yourself out of the shackles. Oh, God. Blimey, so Mrs. Norris has gone missing too? And you said that there was bad seed at the scene? Right. Pretend you don't know. I'm certain you and your parents as friends are behind this. It's all you're doing. No. You have every right to be upset. I know you care about Mrs. Norris very much. Which is why you had better help me find her or else. Whatever you may think, I can promise you had nothing to do with this. Yeah. If it wasn't you that took her, it was one of your no-good friends. Since you're the ringleader of the Motley crew, I still hold you responsible. Bring back my beloved pet or I will talk to you down below myself and make sure you pay the price. Threat threatening me gets us nowhere, I'm already doing all I can. But if more pets are going missing, there's a chance the culprit is still nearby. If I hurry, I may be able to catch them. Then hurry, because if you don't re return Mrs. Norris soon, there will be consequences. Believe me. Let me go talk to my friend Penny about all I have learned. She may have updates for me as well. After that, I'm sure I will know more about what's happened to Mrs. Norris and the other pets. Okay, if you hear me, like, not pronouncing words, probably. I'm sorry, I think I have a cold or... No, it's not a cold because I don't feel sick, but it's probably just... Uh, because it's springtime, so it's probably that thing. I don't know, can't remember the English word for it. <laughs> okay, part two. The search heats up as more pets go missing. You and Penny make some progress, but Hagrid soon needs your help with the unthinkable. <gasps> what can the unth unthinkable be? Oh no. I thought my scorpions had gone missing too. Then I remembered I don't have scorpions. What the heck? <laughs> How's the search going? Uh... Not that good, mate. Hi, Penny. Thanks for meeting me. This has been an upsetting development in the case of the missing pets. It seems Mrs. Norris has gone missing too. And Filch blames me. 
Like me, I feel for Fitch, but he really knows how to pile stress onto an already difficult situation. How are you feeling after talking with him? I think I would say worried, because Mrs. Norris is quite a smart cat. I feel quite worried, things are only getting worse. I understand, he blew, but try not to worry too much. We're doing everything we can. <laughs> if a, a fox would go missing, that would be like, what? <laughs> I'm sure Filch will be singing a different tune once we find Mrs. Norris and all the other pets. There's one thing I did learn from talking to Filch. If pets are still going missing, the culprits may still be nearby. That means if we hurry, we can catch them. Then let's talk through everything we have found so far and figure out what to do next. Blimey, if Hagrid is back from Hogsmeade, I should go talk to him. Yes, I saw him pass by earlier. To be honest, he seemed quite upset. Whatever he was investigating in Hogsmeade, he could be related to this case. At the very least, I should ask him to explain the bird seed in his garden since it keeps coming up. As I told you earlier, um, so that it's not related to the disappearing pets. He can help confirm that theory. So, my game crashed and I said it was connected the first time. But when I was going through after the crash, I accidentally pressed the one in the middle, so uh, that was the option. It's nothing. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it changed, sadly. Good luck, Timberly. I have a good feeling you're on the right track. So I do, I do think it ha it's connected, but sadly MC thinks another way because I'm in Skellig. Thanks, Penny. I will hurry to Hagrid's garden now and see if we can offer any insight into what's going on. If I'm quick, I may still have a chance of catching whoever's behind this before they get away. Yes, let's be quick. No, it does not look happy. Hello, Hagrid. I hope you have a moment to talk. We have much to discuss. Then he told me you returned after investigating something in Hogsmeade. Wonder if whatever it was, it was might be connected to the case I'm working on. But first, are you right? Not really, no. I'm afraid I have horrible news. I want to help you, but I can't do anything else until you have got this figured out. What's wrong, Hagrid? What happened? I haven't got much time. I need to widen my search, but I will tell you quickly so you can keep your friends safe. Oh, that's worrying. Your dog Fang is missing too? He was here the last time I came by, so it must have happened recently. He's one of, my, of many pets who have gone missing, Hagrid. In fact, I came here hoping you might be able to help me solve this case. I'm sorry, but I don't know what to make of it. And now that I know other pets are going missing, I'm worried sick, Timberly. It's alright, we will find Fang. I just need to study the few clues we have and piece this all together. To begin, can you explain the bird seed in your garden? I was just telling Penny, I'm sorry it's not related to the case, but I hope you can confirm that. I can't make any sense of the bird seed at all. I can't keep a seed in my heart, so I don't know what it's doing there here. If it's a spill though, it's a bit odd to see it in a straight line like that. Alright, thanks Hagrid. And what about Marula? Have you talked to her? She was the last one to see Fang. She says she came by to feed him, according to her. He was there one second, gone the next. He might have wandered off and got lost or, or worse. Perhaps someone took him, I don't know what to think. What do you think is happening to the pets, Timberley? Yeah, unknown. It's too early to know what's going on, Hagrid. We need to investigate further. You're right, I just hate to think of fans somewhere on his own. I hope he knows I'm looking for him. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. I know just what to do next. Talk to Marula. If she was with Fang when he disappeared, she had to have seen somebody that could help me solve this. Perhaps I could fly about on my broom and look for the pets from the sky. I've been comforting students who lost their pets by telling them you are on the case. Good job, Rowan. If pets are going missing, what if students are next? How terrifying. Well, you were missing once, Ben. There you are, Marula. I need to talk with you. I still don't know what to think about what happened to all the missing Hogwarts pets, but the situation is only getting worse. Fang is missing now, too. We were with Fang when he disappeared, so I'm hoping you saw something that could help us solve this. For Fang's sake, I will tell you what happened. If you are as so skilled as everyone says, you will remember all the details. Listen closely. I'm going to quiz you afterwards and make sure you are paying attention. Oh god. Now you gotta pay attention to the flavor text. <laughs> so that's the whole story of what happened with Fang. Now let's see if you were paying attention. Right before he disappeared, what was Fang doing? He was barking. You said he was barking or something. Well, what do you know? Ironclaw finally got something right. 
Yes, you were paying attention. Yes, right before Fang disappeared, he was barking like mad. If he was barking, perhaps he sensed danger nearby. Perhaps, but I was keeping a careful eye on things and I didn't see anything out of ordinary. Yes, the bad seed you noticed before. Yes, said these are bad seed where Mrs. Norris, Mrs. Norris disappeared. The penny said others measured it too. I asked Hagrid and he couldn't make any sense of it. He said he doesn't keep bats in his heart. However, he did say it was odd to see it in a straight line if it was a spill. That's true, a straight line seems so intentional. Blimey, what if it wasn't a spill? spill? What if it's... Why can't I speak today? What if someone left it for us to find? I would explain why you keep showing up wherever pets disappear. Someone wants us to notice it. Exactly, and if someone did leave a bunch of lines of birdseed for us to find, it could be a trail. Perhaps we are meant to follow it. I will admit that's a halfway decent theory. But if they left a trail for us to find, the odds are the pets aren't just lost. You're right. If they left a secret trail, trail to guide us, it could be the pets are being taken somewhere against their will. They need our help. But who would do something like that? To answer that, we had better follow the trail. With any luck, we will know exactly who's behind this soon. Okay, part 3. You and Marula follow a helpful trail of birdseed, leading you to make an unexpected and confounding discovery. Oh. Okay, let's see what this trail is leading us. Oh. Oh, I thought it was blood. Thank God. Oh, what is this? would be a bit brutal it's some other thing though it seems we were right about the line of birds in Hagrid's garden it was a trail of course it was but it ends here and I don't see any pets but look at this place something clearly happened here let's split up and search for clues if the bird seed was a trail there must be something here for us to find Merlin's beard after looking around it's clear a person was just here with all kinds of different animals we found footprints, paw prints, and streaks of oil all over the clearing. Why was it oiled though? All these prints are quite fresh too. We must have just missed them. We can figure out where they went. We might just ca catch them before they escape. Alright, well, which of these clues do you think will most help us figure out where to go next? I think the oil. The footprints and paw prints confirm we're on the right track, but the oil is the most important clue may tell us where they come from or even where they are headed. Looking at this closely, I'm fairly sure the oil is tongue oil. Oh, how d and how does knowing that help us? Tongue oil is typically used on wooden boats. I don't know what it's doing out here in the forest. Blimey, they keep lots of wooden boats in the boathouse. Perhaps they keep oil there too. The culprits could be hiding in the boathouse. Let's hurry there now. With any luck, we will arrive in time to catch culprits before they get away. Oh, so we're going down to both house. Cool. Oh man, beautiful music down here. Really like it. Oh, there's a chest and more oil. And hair. Oh. Blimey, look at this place. It's a mess. Whoever's behind this must have been hiding here. That would explain the tongue oil we found in the forest. I guess you moved too slow to catch them. Not everyone is blessed with a perfect gate like me. We don't have time to compare gates, Marula. We need to look for clues. Like that? Like what? Looks like maybe a unicorn here? Merlin's beard. I've never seen that type of hair before. What do you think it is? I think it's them guys here. Oh, damn it, guys. Could be useful information, but what do you think it tells us? Damn it, guys. It tells us that the damn guys was here. Mm. Obviously, but there's got to be more to it than that. <laughs> damn it, guys here can be used to make an invisibility cloak. Yeah, but... Blimey, me, if the corpus used an invisibility cloak, that would explain why we keep narrowly missing them. <gasps> Would also explain why Fang was barking at something and couldn't see. The culprits were invisible. They could be in here somewhere right now. It's possible. Let's keep looking. Hmm. Look, a bad bag of bird seed. It looks like the same kind we saw in Hagrid's garden. It's right next to that trunk. There could be something of value inside or a clue. I'm going to open it. 
Wait, it could be a trap. Before you touch it, let's examine it first. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, Timberly. After examining the trunk, I think it says... Uh, after examining the trunk, I think it's safe to say it's magically influenced in some way. It keeps rumbling and it has a faint glow to it. Perhaps, but there could be a clue inside. We have to take a risk or we will never find Fang. If you don't open the trunk, I'm going to. So what will it be? Yeah, I will open it. Alright, but be quick about it. I think the pets are in here, no? Something happening to me? Blimey, what happened? Don't I know, feel confused I. You're talking so strange. It must be some version of the Confunders curse, you're all mixed up. If we're lucky the curse won't last long, but for now I will have to translate for you. The version, uh, it's slow as here down they put it. You're making even less sense than normal, but I think I understand what you're saying. You think it's a diversion and the cobras put this here to slow us down. Right, you are. We are trail on, that means we are there. Both, they are bet you slept on it. I. First of all, of course I'm right. Oh. <laughs> if they just slept on a boat, like you said, we should be able to spot them from the lake shore. Let's hurry. Okay, you and Marula finally discovered the truth behind the missing Hogwarts pet. A reunion is in order. Oh, are we gonna do it? Where are they? What are we gonna find? Oh, here they are. Who are those people? What the heck? Get them all back in the boat, Corinne. We have to hurry. That bird maybe dropped the invisibility cloak and now I can't find it. Woof. What on earth? Who are these people? Ah, there they. Pets missing Hogwash all the itch. And Fang is running for it. <laughs> Good Fang. That confounded charm is making you even less comprehensible than you normally are, but yes. We were right. These two are trying to escape by boat with all the missing Hogwarts pets. But who are you two and why have you done something so mean? We're Todd and Green Crib tremble before us don't use our names you imbecile taking hogwarts why have you all the pets <laughs> huh excuse her she's a bit mixed up by your confunder charm but that won't slow us down she demanded you explain why you've taken all the hogwarts pets not that it's any of your business but since you can't do anything to stop us just th the truth is we only meant to take a beloved pet of hagrid's we didn't know which he loved most or which were his, so we grabbed what we saw by his heart or nearby. For some reason he's got a problem with poachers, so he's always getting in, in our way, and we have had enough. Not we are late you going to get away this what? <laughs> Iron Claw's right, we won't let you get away with this. Oh please, you're no match for us. We will be gone as soon as we sedate these animals and locate the invisibility cloak they made us drop. He only caught up with us before the blasted bird started ri riling up all the pests on the boat. They nearly overwhelmed us, so we had to run the boat aground. We're not to tell them our whole life story, Todd. Let's just break their wands and escape. Now you're using my name. You won't be breaking my any wands. Now return a pets or else. Oh. Blimey, you're speaking clearly, Iron Claw. The confounder sure must have worn off. You're right, I'm cured. Now let's end this. If it's a duel you want, it's a duel you will get. Don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, got it. Looks like you got back up, Marula. Uh, you two take care of Cory and I will handle Todd. Once up. Oh, God, we're gonna duel with a grown up. <laughs> How's this gonna go? Okay. Uh, I have no idea what a spell is. Could be aggressive. No, it's not. God damn it. That's aggressive though. What? I'm so confused. I won't know which spells he does, but at least I could kinda block it. I need to upgrade I mean unlock more spells for the dueling. More pow powerful ones. And Fang is sitting by my side. But Fang, you should really be like moving aside so you don't accidentally get hit by a spell. Oh he is he yeah, that's bleeding. Good. Got that in. Oh no. 
Oh. Oh no. Oh yeah. I got him. We did it. We defeated the crabs. Ah, fine. Thank you, Blossom Pets. But this isn't the last you've heard of us. Come on, Todd. Since we're not traveling with all those manky animals, we can just separate out of here. That's hard for now. So those were poachers. We did it, Marula. We saved the pets. It's not often we work as a team on cases like this. How does it feel? It felt great, Marula. We make a good team. I get you too used to it. I've got more important things to do than chase down some first years rabbit after all. Speaking of, let's get this back. Um, heck. Let's get these pets back to the castle. Everyone will be so happy to see their friends again. Are we having a party because they are back or? I'm never letting Sir Ribbit out of my sight again. Thank you for finding Danny Simile. I've been spoiling him rotten ever since he got home. Oh, a little, little. Oh, so cute. But simply, you have told you I've done yourself this time. If you don't know how to thank you. Woof, woof. And he's playing with that little dog. Uh, it's not a dog though, because it has two tails. I don't know, it's some special creature. I have one of those, but I don't know what it's called. I gotta check. Hop Waffle. I don't really know what the... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> that is the name of it. <laughs> but not the race name, no, sadly. Look at this little party. Oh, such a cute little rabbit. Penny, what's all this? You put together a whole party? <laughs> Surprise! Everyone's ha so happy to see the pets return. We decided to throw a small party. You are the guest of honor. Me? <laughs> yes, you defeated the creeps and returned all the Hogwarts pets, including Fang and Mrs. Norris. Just about everyone in the whole school wants to thank you. But first, there's someone who had like to, who had liked to have a word with you about something very important. Ooh, okay. What do you want to say? I understand what happened. Of course, one would want to keep their animagus skills secret from the scripts. Yes, the animagus who helped you has their reasons for not being able to thank you in person. Similarly, they could not return to the human form in front of the scripts. I assure you they are grateful you helped preserve their secret while also saving all the Hogwarts pets. You deserve many congratulations and warm tidings. I know how hard you work to accomplish this. Wait, what? An enemy that I kept a secret from? It was hard, but I had help. Without your enemy friend, the Marula, things might have ended differently. Wait one second. Is this some... What? Were they supposed to be an Animagus friend? Am I stupid? Have they changed the quest line so that's why I'm confused and they haven't like removed that part, this part yet? Huh. That's quite uh, mature of you to say but I trust you had found a way. Well done Mr. Ergo. I'm sure there are others who would like to thank you as well so I won't take up any more of your time. Enjoy your party, you've earned it. Okay. So, the case of the missing pets complete. So that was all for today's episode. Since we completed the quest of the missing house pets. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit weird at the ending there with Professor McGonagall and this Animagus friend. I'm really curious what she was talking about. Uh, but yeah. I will post some more time-limited side quests since there's a lot uh, of them to do before we head on to year 3. So uh, stay tuned for that. I do have a playlist for all the time-limited side quests linked down below so you can look them through there. Um, yes, so if you enjoyed today's episode I hope you would like to leave a like and if you enjoy my content and want to see more I suggest you subscribe and I hope we see each other for my next video. Bye guys.